What if I told you that there was a technologically advanced society in Africa? No, I'm not talking about the new Black Panther movie, but a real life metropolis with thriving businesses that will transform an entire country. And no, the country is not Wakanda. I already told you that. Today on Built a Billion, we'll be touring the latest billion dollar mega project that has the whole world buzzing. The name of this project is the Eco Atlantic City or Nigeria International Commerce City. It's being built smack dab on Victoria Island, which is next to Lagos, Nigeria, in order to solve the problem of property shortages. The plan was originally drawn up in 2003 as a remedy to the issues caused by the flooding of Lagos Bar Beach. Construction began in 2008 and stands on 10 million square meters of land and will be protected by an 8.5 kilometer long wall. The city has 10 districts that equal up to about the size of Manhattan skyscraper district. Eco Atlantic will be self-sufficient and sustainable with modern urban design, clean water, and advanced telecommunications. Eco Atlantic City looks like an island that was created out of thin air because it was non-existent before the project start, and it's about 40% larger than the existing Victoria Island. Over time, the Eco Atlantic project has become a spot with one of the most expensive real estate locations in Africa. The land attracts investors who will benefit from the massive demand shortages have created and is set to become the next generation of real estate in Africa. The city combines residential, commercial, tourist, and financial interests in one location, with it all being powered by a high-tech infrastructure. The construction of the city was handed off to China Communications Construction Group, who specialize in marine dredging and landfill operation. The first phase of construction will consist of dredging, construction of the dam, and sand filling, and will take six years. 91 million cubic meters of sand will be used to form the base of the city. Eco Atlantic will also be protected by the Great Wall of Lagos, which is a planned 8.5 kilometer barrier made of rock plated with concrete armor. By the way, if you want to hear the latest on all the new mega projects and billion dollar constructions of the world, please hit that subscribe button to stay up to date. Hang with us and we'll show you all of the dream projects that are being built, one billion at a time. South Energix Nigeria is the developer and urban planning company for the city, and they've released the development plan for the first phase of urban development. Among the first phase of construction will be a 26-story building called the Azuri Peninsula, which will house 120 luxury apartments. Then there will be a five-star marina and yacht club, complete with high-end shops, cafes and other sophisticated amenities to entertain residents. The second phase will last two years. This will consist of the construction of drainage systems, road work, power plant, water supply system, and treatment systems. Eco Atlantic City development is authorized to lease any property and then it will be up to the investor to build what he wants on the land. The mega city will offer its inhabitants modern amenities like its first class roads for efficient drainage of surface water. Also included will be high quality drinking water with a sewer network that runs throughout the city and flows into a sewage treatment plant that will be built on the eastern border. Eco Atlantic will boast fiber octave communication links to each property, elevated street levels to accommodate underground parking spaces above groundwater, and two large marinas connected by an internal waterway. Residents will be in awe of the new skyscrapers, luxury apartments, new financial district, private power grid, and even a shopping boulevard modeled after New York's Fifth Avenue. Eco Atlantic development is being handled as a private partnership with private companies and investors providing the funding along with the federal government and Lagos state government as partners. And in turn, South Energix is working closely with both governments. All of Nigeria's largest banks are partnering with Eco Atlantic as well in conjunction with some foreign banks like KBC who have their horse in the race as well. The project will cost at least $6 billion and land is starting to be sold at $2,000 per square foot. By 2020, a few buildings like Eco Pearl Towers had been completed and there are many more either being built or in planning stages. Along with the creation of Eco Atlantic comes the creation of 250,000 new jobs and an addressing of the housing shortage caused by a growing population. There are a lot of economic benefits. Business owners can count on more peaceful environments for their businesses and Nigeria's investment in the city will only fast track its inevitable goal of becoming the financial capital of Africa. The birth of the city is also an opportunity for the rest of Africa to slowly realize its potential as a whole. But 
Mega projects are almost synonymous with controversy and this one is no different. Locals have criticized Eco Atlantic City's construction for causing ocean flooding and coastal erosion. The displaced water from the Bar Beach has been flowing to other areas, which is altering the coastal landscape of Nigeria. Not only that, but the island is vulnerable to high tides in general, which is a concern for the future city. But the Great Wall of Lagos is supposed to prevent coastal erosion and flooding once complete, protecting the mega city. What do you think about this project? Potential Wakanda? Or not good for the country at all? Let me know, I'm really curious to see what you have to say about it. In the meantime, click a video on the screen to watch something you haven't seen. And thanks for visiting Built a Billion.